Hey y'all, it's Sunshine. Um, glad coming live to you from the living room. I don't feel like going in the office. I haven't been feeling really good today, and I just trying to sit still and hope for the best. Anyway, I have a very heartbreaking uh, vlog that I want to talk about today. Um, Friday, back home in Wichita Falls, two little girls were walking home from school, and a man decided to end their lives. Uh, one of them had died, and the other one is alive and stable but she's gonna be heartbroken to know that her best friend is dead I don't understand that that's just heartbreaking little girls 13 years old lost their life because of some douchebag he had no reason for it he said he he did it but he didn't it's because he didn't have a girlfriend anyway um, then today my heart breaks for these people. Today in Alpine, Texas, they had a shooter at their school. The shooter was a 14-year-old little girl. And she shot somebody, and I think they're going to be okay. And um, she's now, the shooter, the 14-year-old girl, is now dead. Uh, I'm like, why? Why? I don't understand this stuff. And then uh, her, her grandpa said that she was a straight A student. They've been here for only six months. And they don't know why. They don't. And it's sad. It's so sad. There was, uh, and also today in Odessa, three schools on lockdowns for possible fire gunshots. I didn't hear if anything, anybody was hurt or anything. I just know they were shut down. And a bomb threat at a university here in town, or around town. And it just saddens me that people are doing this. You know, come on. What is going on? I think the Alpine situation, she was either being bullied or is over a stupid boy. Let me tell you, boys are not worth it. That's overrated. But it's just, you know, as a parent, I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about that. You know, I worry about that every day with my son. And, you know, just because he's a little different, but he's so cool. You know, in my world, he's cool. Um, you know, he's... He, I don't want any of that happening to my children. You know, especially with them going to junior high and high school. Because they're only 13... Well, she's fixing me 12, and he's 13. You know, I don't want that. I don't want that for anybody's babies. I don't care if they're all the way in high school being a senior. They're going to be babies for the rest of your life. But it's just it's just so heartbreaking that this is going on. And I know hate mail is fixing to come for what I'm about to say. But you know what? This is my channel. This is my opinion. I'm from Texas. We love our guns. I think teachers should be armed. I know. Send the hate mail now. I think teachers should be armed. But... But, I think they should go through a couple of classes to know when to shoot and when not to shoot. To know when is a crisis situation and when is not a crisis situation. I think they, there needs to be the proper training for them to do this. I also think they need, if they're going to have the guns, they need to be on a holster. There's a special kind of holster and I cannot remember the name of it right now. My husband has one, but... They can't, it's a special holster where nobody can come up behind them and just yank their gun off their hip. It's got a lock thing on it. And that's a great idea. Um, we already have open carry here in, in Texas. And I think teachers should carry guns. I'm sorry. Send the hate mail. I don't really care right now. Uh, and I think if they get the proper training to do so, because when you get your CDL, your CDL, when you get your conceal and carry, you have to go through a class. You have to go through an eight-hour class. No, that's not enough time to really do what you need to do. But a lot of those people that have the conceal and carry come from a gun background, come from the country. You know, we know. We grew up with guns. We know what we can and can't do, how to respect them, you know, and everything like that. Um, so, you know, I think I think it would be a great thing. But it's just heartbreaking and so sad. You know that these kids, and, and when I grew up, we didn't have social media that made fun of us and stuff. Because let me tell you right now, I honestly can see how these kids went to school 
blowing up people or going and shooting up things. I was bullied, you know, ta-da, because I read a lot. I, I was always reading. And that was my escape from the world because my world was sad. My world was very sad when I was little. And I love books. It took me to another world that I would never go to. And a lot of people looked down on me like that, and I was—I didn't have any friends. You know, I was always alone. My when I grew, when I was living with my dad, you know, I wasn't allowed to have friends over, and I didn't have friends at at my house or anything. I lived a very lonely life, and sometimes that bullying got way too much for me. And I think that's why I became a um, a cutter at 12 years old, 13 years old, you know, and wanted to commit suicide many a times. I wanted to, um, and I can see how it happens because I, there's been times in that frame of mind back then I can know that I would have had no problem walking in that school and blowing it up. You know, that was back then. I'm not, I'm, I'm a lot better now. You know what I'm saying? I, I can see where they're coming from and it's heartbreaking because if there was that somebody that would have just sat down with them and go hey what's going on how can I help you you know my Mima saved me from many a chimes if it weren't for my Mima I don't know y'all I don't know I might be still I might be in prison I don't know but it's just I wish wish these kids had somebody to turn to and not I have all these people that are making fun of them, chastising them on all over social media. That doesn't help anything. That does not help. And it's sad, you know. And um, anyway, y'all, I'm going to quit rambling here. But just hug your babies today. Just give them a big hug. And just see if they need you. Just see if they'll open up to you if there's something going on. Because we all need love. Spread love and kindness. Bye, y'all.